Let's look at adding a user control. A user control is a composite control that can be reused. You might think of a user control as a class for visible objects. We'll start with a new project. File, New, Project. We'll use a basic Windows form application. Choose your name, your location, your solution name, and choose OK. We'll start with a new class. I like to use the Solution Explorer. Right click on the application, choose Add, New Item, Class, and enter your class name. I'm going to choose a name of Client Phones. In this class, we'll have three phone numbers for a client. I already have created my code and I'm just going to paste it in. This includes the sets and the gets for three different phone numbers for our client. Remember that the set stores the value, the get retrieves the value. So we've established a client phone number class with three phone numbers. We're ready to add our user control. User controls are under project project add user control. I'm going to use the name of the user control as phone control. And I'm going to add a label to identify my phones and then three text boxes, one for each phone number. I'll name my text boxes TXT phone 1, 2, and 3. You can also add code to a user control. I'm going to add some clear code here. I will right click on my control and view code. I've already created this code, so I'm just going to copy it. This code takes the text boxes and clears each of the text boxes. We'll come back to this code in a moment. We're ready for an input form now. This form 1 will serve as an input form. I'm going to add two more text boxes to allow the input of a first name and a last name. And I will name my text boxes TXT first and TXT last. Now I'm going to include my user control on my form. Notice if I scroll to the top of my toolbox. It starts with All Windows Forms, Pointer, Background Worker. Now I'm going to build and actually even run my project. I will close it and come back. Now notice my toolbox. At the top, I have a new set of controls. My phone control is there. You will need to build your project in order to see your user control. Now I can drag my control onto my form just like any other control. Now if I run my project, it looks and acts like any other control.
Now I'm going to add a button to my form so that I can implement the clear code. Normally in a clear button, you add code something like txtfirst.clear. What we're going to do for this, first I'm going to name this a different name. I'm going to name it Phones. And this refers to the embedded control on this particular form. So phones is this instance of the user control. So now in the clear code, I'm going to refer to phones.clear. And phones.clear refers to this instance, which in turn calls out to the user control to the code we wrote here, and it will clear each of the individual text boxes. Now let's run it and test it. So this video has been an introduction to the user control.